Hello, hello everyone. Happy Sunday. I am so sorry about that. I actually can't get my Twitch to reconnect, so sorry to my friends on Twitch um, who aren't even seeing this because <laughs> I had to I had to move on and, <laughs> and just stream to YouTube people. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sorry, I am actually not feeling well at all today, but I persevered because I'm so excited to show you some of these updates I have been working on. Um, mostly so, yeah, I posted, I might um, keep this a little bit short today just because I'm really not um, feeling well. <clears throat> so I might skip the tutorial part and uh, do that uh, next sometime next, or save that for next week. I'm sorry, my, my mind's a little scrambled right now. Um, but I do wanted to show you, uh, definitely take the time to show you the retail therapy set. Oh my gosh, I'm actually showing you. See, this is my builds <laughs> that I always try and hide from you. Let's go somewhere more prettier. Yeah, I know they reset the stream keys. So that was when I was having issues reconnecting it because of the Twitch breach. But um, <laughs> when I'm not feeling very well, it's hard for me to think. <laughs> and I could not figure it out. Um, and I probably should have done it a little bit earlier so I'll figure it out for next week but okay so the retail therapy I've kind of been going back and redoing some of my older sets uh just oh, we'll play with these guys I've never played with them before and just redoing them so that they are or giving them kind of improved features now that I know a little bit more and the retail therapy is one of them. So a big problem that I have with retail therapy, one thing that makes it difficult for all of us to use is, I, so previously I've had to create like individual objects um, and that would allow your sim to purchase things from them. Uh, I actually don't know how if I have most of the retail therapy in here. I don't think I do. <gasps> oh, you, you kind of see see some of the previews there. Okay, I have some stuff. So yeah, so really, if you if you haven't had this set, the idea was you could like place items on the wall, and it allows your sim to go up and purchase kind of in theme items from that. So in this case, right, he could purchase a child snowboard or climbing gear. Now some of this stuff I won't be able to totally replace. Like in this case, I don't think the the snowboards and the rope will actually be items that I can replace. However, overall, um, you know, I get a lot of asks to update it for uh, like new, like uh, the upgrade parts is one of them. And then also if there's other like food items or I know one I got recently are the flowers. So I actually have never included the flowers um, like the craftable ones you can do, the arrangements from Seasons. So I'll show you kind of how this new version works, which I'm so excited for. I actually, I showed some of my patrons this earlier this week, but I didn't show them the shelves I had been working on. Um, so let me pull those up. And I'll, how, I hope you guys are all doing better than me today. Um... And uh, she's Diamond. I'm so glad that you are the first time here. Welcome. I'm sorry I'm not more more lively as I normally am. And also, anyone who was looking for a tutorial, Sabiolette's here in the bottom, who is my good friend and creator. She's actually also doing a tutorial today. So you guys should go and check out uh, hers since I am... Um, I'm probably going to have to skip that part today. And in general, she's wonderful. I think you're making a door, right? You should let us know and link to it um, as well. She let everyone vote on what kind of tutorial to do. Uh, and bless her heart because the door <laughs> doors are no fun. Okay, so this, these are some shelves I was coming up with. And these, the concept of this was to be like grocery store shelves. So I know this house probably is not the best um, to show you. Let me get some lighting up lighting in here since I just deleted those and the concept <clears throat> would be to allow everyone uh, to allow you guys to sell anything without me having to actually make the item so I'm going to make different uh, types of retail but I thought this was 
like these would be great for like uh, grocery stores, especially if you did a little something like. Try, I I googled grocery stores for so long. I can't even tell you how many different like setups of grocery stores I looked at. But um, let's put walls up, kind of. Oh man, I chose a real small house to show this off, but <laughs> um. So this is basically the idea, right, of like what a grocery store would look like. So, and then you can have the shelves this way. And I even put this bottom part in with like a ton of different colors. And I was thinking of putting little slots here so you could like snap um, like pricing cards on these. So this was the concept for these. Now, the cool part is how they work, right? Okay, so for me... At least uh, in a lot of the grocery stores where I live, this is kind of what they look like, right? So so this was the concept I went with. The shelves, I'm still... Oh, shoot. <laughs> the shelves I'm still working on. Okay. So, uh, let me show you how this works. Um, so, I'm doing kind of two updates. The one more... Uh, Slot Please Plus, which I'll show at the end, and then the Retail Therapy. And so my plan for the Retail Therapy is to do this in a, lots of different configurations. Now what's cool about the way I have this set up, I'm going to go ahead and just create some craftables. Um, by the way, I thought this was so cute. I don't know if you guys knew this. Uh, I got to this menu by just shift-clicking the ground. Do you guys know there's dog... Like, you can cook this dog bone meat pie. How cute is that? I I love that so much. Um, all right, or let's make a candle. All right, we'll make... Oops. Let's make... Um, what was the other one? I think it was... Flowers. Was one of the questions I got asked. But basically, so you can, you obviously have to create that items initially. Um, you can do this really quick by how I'm doing it right now, which is just shift clicking on the ground. But like, oh, potion of nausea. nausea. <laughs> Perk purging. Oh, there's so many of these. Masterful insights. We'll do that. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't think I've added that many slots to this yet, which I will in the future. But the idea is, right, we'll put these on the shelves, put this one, this one's kind of tall, so we'll put it on the top. And here's the magic I'm about to show you, um, which took me forever to get to the point. Um, anything you put on the shelf now becomes sellable. So um, you can see here, purchase potion of masterful insults, $40. And... Uh, see, like this one, see it's pur purchased the meat pie for $16. And if you see as soon as I take it off the shelf, you can't do that. As soon as you put it on the shelf, it allows you to purchase it. So let's open his inventory. Which, there we go. Okay, so see it showed up in his inventory. Now the cool thing is, um, we're... It actually makes a copy of the potion instead of like removing it. So unlike the craft sales table or anything um, that has to do with the get to work retail set where you have to like restock things, this totally creates a copy of it. So it'll create a copy of it. It'll actually charge you the price. Um, you're saying the price of its current value and then make a copy to your inventory. So this is cool because it means I don't have to go and like create objects, which just gives you more options for what you can sell. You know, this candle is not something I've made with my retail set before. I have never done flowers before either. Um, so you could like make a whole flower display or, um, you know, a dog food display. And the best part is too, because these are slots, I can lock down the freshness so they're like fresh forever. So I think right now I have it set up so like the flowers will never well, the food will never get spoiled. So it's like just perfect for, uh, yeah, creating kind of like grocery stores and like convenience store style things. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really not showcasing this as good as I would hope because I'm, um, <laughs> my mind is a little out of it today. 
Um, oh, yay. I'm so glad you guys like it. Yeah, and there's a lot of possibilities. So I was thinking of, like, um, doing, like, vending machine, like, almost taking, uh, like, all of my previous, um, my, do your Sims, uh, Sims game ever stop, like, receiving input from your keyboard? That's what's happening to me right now. Won't let me turn. Oh, it's because of this. Let's get out of that guy. Um, so I was thinking of like taking all of the stuff I had previously made with um, like the vending machines and doing some like em emptying the shelves of all of the different stuff I have. So I think I have some like fr refrigerators. Um, so I was thinking of just making a ton of empty retail displays um, that work like this that allow you to put anything on, sell everything you want, you know, doesn't require NPCs, base game compatible. You know, really the only setup is like your initial cost or whatever it takes to um, create these items. Now, the second one, I kind of am creating these <laughs> at the same time or working on these at the same time. Uh, and I, the reason I thought of it was because I was getting kind of stuck on like the grocery shelves and I, I wanted to create a ton of options for you, but I could... Uh, I get kind of stuck on how exactly to implement it. So if you are one of my patrons, you have seen this. But this is basically my version of like the one more slot, please. I'm calling it the one more slot, please, plus. So that's what the OMSP stands for. So this is the original one um, that was made years ago. Um, and... I've just been coming up with a version. Now, here is where this magic happens, is right here. So I've been be able to create this uh, placement post where you can put it not against a wall. And you can get really good vertical placement. Because, um, you know, on the wall, you can get really good vertical placement holding alt. But otherwise, like, you're stuck with just the alt, zero, and nine. So that was, like, the... Um, ori original idea of the one more slot, please. Plus. Now, the good thing is, too, um, you know, I can delete this and the shelf will always remain. So if you have someone else's retail shelves that you really like, um, you can use this to um, use other people's shelves, too, instead of just being limited to the stuff I create. So let's grab, like, a table... Of some kind, like, I don't know, let's say you wanted to use this in, like, some sort of, like, knick-knack shop, right? Well, this placement post, the reason it has the checkered grid is so you can kind of get, like, an idea of placement of, like, where you would want to place something. So you can kind of see the top of the table goes, you know, whatever to that line. You can also just use this as well um, for placement, but this just kind of gives you, like, an idea so, the nice thing is once you place this shelf, you can totally get rid of that guy. It doesn't matter. Then we'll go and we'll click on this. And, oh, it's not letting me do anything because I don't have anything on there. So, I put, and also I tried putting like tons of slots on all of these. So, oh, I don't want to list that on Plopsy. You guys, I also found out, I was looking at the coding the other day. Uh, Plopsy is actually base game compatible. All the tuning for it is in the base game, which I found very interesting. Okay, so like, let's pretend, we're, I know these are like the same items, but um, what you can do is hide that sucker. Look at that, guys. <gasps> it's gone. And now, um, the way I have this set up is... You know, maybe I put this a little bit too high. The cool thing is you can kind of hover over it. Um, oops. Dang it. Messed up. Um, I might have to go back into live mode. Oh, yeah, you can see it there. Oh, it's because I got my placement post. That's why I got messed up. But, yeah, so this was the idea with the kind of hidden uh, one more saw, please. But, so I think what I'm going to do is I asked some feedback from my patrons, and this will let it work like right now this works the same as the other shelf so once you're on here you can like purchase um you know the candle and stuff like that so it works the same as the other shelf 
Um, here, we'll show that so you can kind of see it's on the shelf there. Um, uh, so what, my other updates I need to do with this is um, add a way for um, you to either toggle the sell uh, items to be sellable on or off because a lot of people uh, said they want to use the one more slot please shelf um, to just display things, not necessarily uh, use it as just for purchasing, but I am going to add that option. So I was thinking of doing something like the photo studio where you can kind of toggle on and off settings. So yeah, um, this is my idea. I'm hoping to finish it. I've been working, there's like some touch-ups I need to do, but I've gotten like the core of the base. I've, I've gotten like all of my hard problems figured out. So I'm almost there. Um, so I hope, I'm thinking this is going to be done sometime this week. Uh, and I just really love the idea of grocery stores. That's like kind of my initial thought of creating this whole set. Um, of the original retail therapy, now this update. So, um, that was like my goal. Um, and I hope it turns out well. Um, you guys, I am really not feeling well, so I am probably going to call, um, end this stream today now because I'm <laughs> not speaking very well and I need to go back to bed. But, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Please um, let me know in the comments, too, if there's any other requests you have with this, especially the idea for, like, little price tags and stuff on here. Um, I really want to create, like, a really cool experience with this. Um, I think stores are really fun. So, um, yeah, please let me know, um, and I'll come back and read these tomorrow after I've had a little bit of rest and feel a little bit better, but... You all are wonderful and have a great rest, rest of your weekend and thank you for putting up with me today. I feel like I uh, have been all over the place and you guys are lovely as always. So I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.